Thank you all. The International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy is conducting regular sessions in the last 1,197 days and just three days away from um, our, our magical figure of 1,200. And uh, we have three sessions uh, now regularly and seven to 10, seven to eight, uh, we have uh, Hindi session, eight to nine international session in English and nine to 10, we have a local language session in Malayalam. At, and this is what is uh, uh, all about uh, this uh, forum. And we have uh, homeopathic doctors, homeopathic lovers and students are members uh, in this forum. And uh, uh, we have uh, doctors from 65 countries presented papers in this forum, as well as uh, uh, we have uh, uh, done uh, 30 countries presented a celebration during uh, 1000 day a celebration. And this is uh, exactly what we are looking at uh, this forum. And today we have a wonderful person, Dr. Guru Kiran from High Karnataka. Uh, he is a very fine practitioner uh, with homeopathy, a person who really enjoyed the beauty of homeopathy by practicing single medicine uh, in the classical method. And he has completed his uh, BHMS uh, from Bangalore Homeopathic Medical College. And then he has completed, he has uh, a uh, postgraduate uh, 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 fellowship in uh, SCPH uh, that is from International Center for Homeopathic Medicine, United Nations. And uh, uh, he has been uh, practicing for the last 16 years in, uh, at, uh, at uh, Karnataka and has a lot of patients a lot of uh, successful cases in his kitty and he has presented so many sessions in this forum with the uh, beautiful uh, cases uh, uh, believing that uh, he can do we can do uh, the some of the incurable cases in, with the homeopathic single medicine and that too with the smallest possible dose and today uh, he is presenting another session uh, but uh, he has presented uh, various uh, talk in uh, radio television as well as he has published some papers in newspapers and he has uh, doing a lot of uh, work in uh, this uh, public uh, forum also because uh, the uh, uh, everybody is uh, looking at uh, the uh, 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 Facebook uh, teacher and always uh, all those uh, where he used to publish his uh, successful cases so that more and more people uh, come to know about homeopathy because uh, uh, people believe that homeopathy is for uh, children's cases but uh, but uh, he is able to he has done a lot of work to promote homeopathy in um, uh, social media also so uh, let uh, today uh, he is talking about a big subject that is a good one and uh, that is the one days of our course as you know we have no source and our course are uh, are in our kitty to fire at any time but how to fire it and how what are the uh, at what time we can deliver these medicines and how it works in your uh, patient and so uh, with uh, with uh, with very high pride I, because he is a person who deserves PhD for his presentation in this forum because he has presented such wonderful cases so uh, even though he has not uh, applied uh, for research work, but he has done so many work that all the cases really deserve PhD. This is what I have to add to his uh, uh, BHMS to here. So we can invite proudly our guest, Dr. Gurugirin, to this forum. Welcome, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you for what <laughs> warm welcoming <laughs> with those pride words. Thank you, sir. And uh, good morning and good evening to the participants for today's sessions. Yes. Can you able to see the slide? Yes, yes, we yes. can. Okay, right. <clears throat> As Dr. Dhanesh uh, sir said, today's topic is wonders of Sarkots. As we all know that Sarkots is one of the kingdoms Sources of homeopathic drugs. We use a lot of sarcots in our daily practice. 
<clears throat> some may have lot of exposure, some may not. Let us see what SAR codes can be done in our daily practice, how it can bring changes in a cases. So what are all the indications of important SAR codes, what we use in our daily practice? So welcome to the session. <clears throat> Yes. Before that, I would like to give tribute to, to the master, Dr. Samuel Honeyman. Because of him, we are all here today at this forum. With the blessings of Dr. Samuel Honeyman, let's move on. <clears throat> As we know, when we say sarcots, as we all know that, it is from healthy tissues and healthy secretions. This is a microscopic picture of healthy tissues. And these are all the parts of the body where we can extract sarcodes. From this, we take the extracts and also from some of the secretions and we prepare sarcodes. So what does it mean? <clears throat> Sarcodes means fleshy in Greek. It can be called as protoplasm of animals because it belongs to the mainly animal kingdom. Some of the sarcodes are well proved and some are not. So these are the examples where we can extract the tissues from animals. So definition of the sarcodes. Sarcodes are preparations from the secretions of healthy organisms, healthy animal tissues and secretions. So this is the definition of the sarcodes, what we get in the textbooks. So what are those? Those are the hormonal secretions and endocrine and exocrine glands and also secretions of mammary glands may be put under sarcodes. This we all know that we extract from these kind of exocrine and endocrine glands. So <clears throat> I have made a list here. This is the commonly available sarcodes list. But what I have done is I have marked in red ink some of the sarcodes that what I use in my daily practice. Uh, apart from this, we have a lot of sarcodes I haven't used in my practice. But some of the sarcodes I use in my regular practice that I haven't mentioned in red ink. Say in this list, I use cholesterinum. Some of the doctors may use other sarcodes also. But as I said, I have mentioned what I use in my clinic. So this is another list, Feltauri, Folliculinum, Insulin, Lacaninum, Lacvaccinum, in this list, Ufarinum, Pancreatinum and anterior pituitary gland, that is pituitary glandula anterior. <laughs> So in this list, again, thyroidinum, healthy thyroid gland or healthy uh, thyroid tissue of sheep or cough. So other uh, sarcodes are also present here, like RNA, retina, pulmovolpes, prostata, placenta, and also there is posterior pituitary gland, pituitary glandula posterior, Separatinum. Thyroiodinum is there. Thyroidinum is different. Thyroiodinum is different. So these are all the sarcodes. We get a list. So <clears throat> where can we consider sarcodes? Where we can see in a case. The sarcodes expression would be trying to become perfect. We can think of sarcodes when the patient expresses these words. 
hormonal problems ovulation or pregnancy problems climactric or old age problems growth problems or developmental problems these are all very very important key points what i am mentioning here hypertrophy or atrophy obesity or emaciation hyper or hypo <coughs> conditions active lethargic indolence restless and maniacal these are the key points keywords that patient may express in our practice so we should be able to hunt these words and can think of sharp words if it is needed if it is indicated in a case depression senility precocity and sexual retardation libido increased or decreased where can we think of sharp words in a case where there is a block in a case paucity if the if you after taking the case well indicated remedy or very good constitutional medicine is acting and if there is any pause in the progress of the case then we can think of sarcoms like blockbusters and very few symptoms are there if there is no clear picture in a case not very characteristic symptoms are seen in the case and when a particular indicated remedy fails we can think of sarcoms and where there is a fundamental dominating miasm obstructs the function <clears throat> as i said in the hormonal disturbances something like that fundamental dominating miasm obstructs the function see you know, these are all the <clears throat> cases what i am showing is from this stall words case of menstrual trouble and the indicated lycopodium failed and was intervened by thyroidinum 30 and had a very good result another case was under developed girl she was looking like 16 years old but she was 23 years very slow in her talking and behavior and all her milestones were delayed indicated barreta cap failed according to the case she was intervened by anterior pituitary 6 and got better these are all the few examples i am quoting here today <clears throat> the case of pcod with hirsutism a well indicated remedy acted but the repetition of the problem faced after giving testosterone 6 the case got much better and the hair growth in the face under the chin and disappeared a lot of uh, uh, symptoms uh, we can expect in pcod cases like this hirsutism cases there we can think of testosterone another case of bph benign prostatic hypertrophy where allopathy drug abuse was seen which was cleared by flutamide the adverse effects were seen in the case on the basis of that flutamide 6 was prescribed and the real symptoms were seen here it helped to get the real picture of the case it clears the blockage as i said if there is a block in a case then we can think of sarcoms any potency can be used here the stalwarts in the source books they have written about this testosterone 6 flutamide 6 these things can be all said used in 30 potency 200 potency you can no problem but why going why you going to prescribe in the lower potency there is an option of repeating <clears throat> another case with a depression in the case of depression in the cases please check the serum cortisol level if you have a depression case in your clinic please check the serum cortisol levels if there is a abnormality in the levels cortisol 6 can be prescribed with the constitutional medicines in the depression cases where there is a loss of libido we can prescribe testosterone it will bring back the libido especially in men these are all the hints let's move on to the 
another sarcode adrenaline adrenaline or epinephrine the active principle of the medulla of the suprarenal gland which is employed as a chemical messenger in the regulation of the activities of the body in fact its presence is essential to the activity of the sympathetic nerves adrenaline has been suggested in acute congestion of lungs asthma in bronchial asthma cases we can think of adrenaline in addison's disease graves disease arteriosclerosis chronic iotitis angina pectoris hemophilia cases chlorosis hay fever serum rashes acute urticaria etc the long standing chronic cases where there is no much relief after giving some indicated remedy we can think of adrenaline this adrenaline clinically effective in allergies neuralgia bronze skin debility hematuria palpitations tachycardia hyperemia exceedingly rapid pulse loss of strength wasting of muscles may well be needed in cancer patients with adrenal with adrenal disturbance prolonged contraction of the general muscular system great loss of strength rapid emaciation rapid pulse and irregular intermittent heart beats general mad dyspnea so these are all the indications where you can think of adrenaline in a case the guiding symptom is an is a sensation of thoracic constriction with anguish this may seen in the case in case of adrenaline this with vertigo nausea and vomiting have been produced by the drug abdominal pain shock or heart failure during anesthesia these are some of the guiding symptoms <laughs> adrenaline causes very prompt rise of blood pressure <clears throat> by its action on nerve endings in the vessel wall let's move on to the next uh, sarcode cholesterinum it is widely used cholesterinum is widely used it was introduced by dr swan he appeared to have <clears throat> taken his hint from burnett's work and potentized the remedy using gallstone for his preparations this is where the cholesterinum is prepared cholesterinum crystallizes in leaflets with a mother of pearl luster and a fatty feel it is soluble in alcohol and ether it occurs in the blood and the brain yolk of eggs seeds and buds of plants but most abundantly in the bile and the gallstones that it is almost a specific for gallstone colic this cholesterinum cholesterinum as a remedy in a cancer of liver cholesterinum in the physiological opponent of lecithin but seem to play some unknown part in the growth of tumors this area has to be explored well benign tumors uterine fibroids gallstones chronic jaundice obstinate hepatic engorgements opacities of the vitreous humor and insomnia next sarcode is ovarium it is prepared from the ovarian extract ailments suffering from excision of ovaries see in the female cases especially if they come to the clinic after total hysterectomy we can think of this ovarium it can be used in ovarian disorders also in climactic disturbances this is a picture of ovarium where they take the extract by in ovarium the patient will be in sad despondency depression melancholic during climactic period we can think of ovarium indications of ovarium in ovarian cyst cutaneous disorders acne rosacea prurigo in infertility cases let's move on to the another sarcode which is pancreatinum 
this sarcode is an extract of pancreatic and salivary gland of ox or sheep. Pancreatinum is extensively used in diseases of the pancreas. <laughs> Indications of pancreatinum. Pancreatic affections, it may be diabetes and also diarrhea, mumps, gout, other diseases of the pancreas. It may be, can be used in pancreatitis or any other pancreatic tumors. It may be used. This is oophorinum. Ovarium is different. Oophorinum is different. This oophorinum is prepared from trituration of expressed juice of an ovary of sheep or cow. Oophorinum is also called as ovarian. Ovarium is different. Ovarian or oophorinum or ovinum. It's also called as oophorinum. These are all synonyms. Where it can be indicated? Where there is a menses too early, which is too frequent or too late. Infitalismus genitalis. What is this? Infitalismus genitalis. A children like genitals seen in the adults. You can think of Ufarain. Premature senility. Indications of Ufarainum. Acne rosaceae. Uterine cancer. Uterine tumors. In PCOD cases or ovarian cysts. Also in infertility cases. Especially in PCOD or ovarian cysts. Where there is a uh, menses delayed or too early menses, we can think of oophorine. And also, if there is any blockage or positive in the infertility cases, definitely we can think of oophorine. Nausea from smell of mutton. See, this is the characteristic, characteristic symptom which can be seen in oophorine. Nausea from smell of a mutton. If you see this kind of characteristic symptom in any case, think of oophorine. Next, move on to the other support. Indications of testosterone. In cent on central nervous system, weeping tendencies, dysphoria, euphoria, paranoia, headache, mood swings, and insomnia. Cardiovascular system, hypertension, which is a very good sarcode. It can be used in hypertension cases. In female, amenorrhea, oligomenorrhea, and virilism. Next moment is another sarcode. Indications of cortisol. Where there is a weight gain. Obese. Loss of muscle mass. Edema of the face. Body. High blood pressure, high diabetes, high sugar, hyperchlorohydria, bone loss, joint pains, allergies. In these cases, we can think of cortisol. So these are all the, uh, some of the indications of some of the sarcodes. Not all sarcodes can be explained in this session. So I have picked, selected uh, sarcodes that I use in my clinic regularly. On the basis of that, I have uh, shown some of the uh, slides regarding that. Let's move on to the cases now. How can we use sarcodes in a case? This is one of my case. A female aged about 16 years was presented with the symptoms of irregular menses since 8 months. After this irregular menses, she has undergone ultrasonography of the abdomen. The patient has been diagnosed with PCOD and she was advised to take hormone pills for 21 days. This is what they suggest when they consult a gynecologist. <laughs> After taking hormone pills, the patient used to get her menstrual cycle regular. When she asked the when, when the gynecologist asked to stop the hormonal pills, then again the menstrual cycle got 
irregular. After this disgust, the patient opted for homeopathic treatment. According to the homeopathic case taking, the constitutional medicine was for the patient was prescribed. This was the report when she <coughs> came to me. Ultrasound says polycystic ovarian disease. After the constitutional medicine, the patient got better. But few months later, there was a positive in the symptoms. The menstrual cycle got skipped. So, in this condition, I thought of prescribing folliculinum. Why folliculinum at this condition? Can anybody say in the chat box? Is there any indication in the case? Where can we think of folliculinum at this case? After prescription of constitution, the patient was well. After some few months, there was a positive. Again, the menstrual cycle got skipped. This is the picture of folliculinum. For this, there is a tool. Repertory. In Murphy repertory, toxicity, hormones, poisoning, ailments from contraception, pills. The indicator remedy, folliculinum. Also, there is lachesis, pulsatilla, sepia. All are three marks. But as an Blockbuster, I use folliculinum because it is from the hormonal pills, what she has taken earlier. On the basis of that, I prescribed folliculinum. There was no other indication regarding lachesis, pulsatilla, sepia. So, I thought of prescribing folliculinum. These are all the indications what we can see in the Materia Medica. Folliculinum in the female genital section, dryness of the vagina during climactic period, lycoria during ovulation, griping pain before menses, uterine hyperplasia, itching before menses, lycoria between menses. These are all the indications what we can get in the material. You can go and refer your material medica so that we can also think of folliculinum. Menopause. At the, the stages, menses bright red, menses profuse, metrorrhagia between menses, metrorrhagia during ovulation, sexual desire diminished, sexual desire increased, sterility. So you can think of folliculitis. So after folliculitis 30, coming back to the case, within two days, menses appeared. After that, the constitutional, what the what I have given to the case has been continued with that. The case got very much better. And few months later, same case has been advised for ultrasound. The impression is no abnormality detected. The PCOD got cleared with the help of constitution and also with the help of indicated SARCO. So this is the potential of sarcos, where we can think of cases where there is a block or paucity or if there is no progress in a case, we can think of sarcos with indications. In this case, I have clearly said that after taking that hormonal pills, she was having some problems. On the basis of that, I referred in the repertory. On the basis of the repertory chart, I have prescribed follicle. Next moment is the second case. The female aged over 56 years was presented with type 2 diabetes symptoms. According to the case, homeopathic constitutional medicine was prescribed. This case is an example for homeopathic management with constitutional medicine and SARCO as an intercurrent remedies. 
What was the case? Let me see. <clears throat> I think this was the first uh, investigation report. The patient was consulted for me. Black sugar was 174 in the fasting. Uh, Postprandial sugar was 260. <clears throat> After prescription of the constitutional medicine, the next month, it acted well. The constitutional medicine acted well. Fasting sugar came down. Also the postprandial sugar. The corresponding urine sugar actually is nil in the fasting. The corresponding urine sugar in the postprandial is 0.5. It has reduced well. <coughs> Furthermore, it has reduced well. Only with the constitutional medicine. In this case, after this, there is a raise in the postprandial sugar. It has raised to 191. Again, there is a corresponding urine sugar is 2%. In the last report, it was 0.5. <clears throat> so, it has raised to 2%. So, now, what can be done Accord along with the constitution medicine? I have prescribed insulinum, intervention of sarcode. This is a picture of insulinum. As I said, uh, insulin can be think of in diabetes cases. Why 1M? Why, why not 30? Why not 200? Let us discuss in the Next session. So after intervention of the SAR code, insulin, first time blood sugar, 120, corresponding urine sugar, it is nil, postprandial blood sugar is 178 and the corresponding urine sugar is nil. Again, there is a raise in the blood sugar levels, especially in postprandial 196. Again, corresponding urine sugar is to 2%. In this also, again, it requires repetition. Repetition of insulin. Insulin can be repeated. Uh, actually, in this case, I have prescribed insulin 1M because when potency is raised, only single dose is enough. For one month, if you want to give lower potencies, you can repeat the dose according to, according to the case. After repetition of insulin 1M, fasting blood sugar came to 1. It was almost the same fasting blood sugar. Corresponding urine sugar nil. Postprandial blood sugar is over 99. Corresponding urine sugar also nil. So, we can think of sarcodes in these kind of conditions. We get a lot of diabetes cases nowadays. Especially after, indicate, after giving the constitution medicine with the very good indications. If there is some troubles, then you can definitely think of sarcodes. I think this is the uh, final report of the patient. All the things, it's absolutely normal. Fasting sugar is 104. Corresponding urine sugar is nil. Postprandial blood sugar is 140. Corresponding urine sugar is nil. So this is the wonderful result after using SARCODE with indicated constitutional medicines according to the case. Definitely, from now onwards, we can extensively use SARCODES in our daily practice. To fetch results. Let's move on to the case 3. A male aged about 64 years was presented with the pain in the right hypochondriac region since 2 months. What can be the condition? Mild burning sensation in the pigastric region and the patient already presented with ultrasonography report having gallbladder calipula. This is the report. 
gall bladder is distended having calculus measuring about 4.5 mm caudilithiasis so in this case what is the use of sarcod let me see that according to the case mental symptoms of the patient the patient is extroverted in nature fear of responsibility anxiety about the health the basis of all those things right sided complaints the patient is thirsty desire for warm food and warm drinks thermals hot after making a totality of the case which has been repertorized after all those things lycopodium was prescribed after lycopodium there was a drastic reduction in the gallbladder calculi i have got all the reports uh, because of the time limit i am uh, showing the only the few reports few a few months few days later few weeks later <clears throat> there was again the patient came up with gallstone colic there was a pain again so what are all the guiding indications it is a useful remedy for obst obstinate hepatic enlargements for cancer of the liver for obstinate gall bladder stones for vitreous opacity and obstinate jaundice i have said gallstone colic almost specific attacks come and go suddenly pushing pain in the region of the bile duct and region of the liver in sore sensitive to touch or jar aggravation lying one side all uh, see the clinical uh, value there almost specific for gallstone colic also there is a very important keynote there in the last slide has been beneficial effect on many patients suffering from coronary insufficiency when other remedy fail or there are no clear cut indications for any other remedy where there is coronary insufficiency the prescribed remedy was cholesterinum 30 for the management of gallstone colic so cholesterinum 30 daily dose for 15 days after that there was no more gallstone colic in the case accord along with the constitution medicine like a podium i have continued this cholesterinum 30 and also given as sos if there is any gallstone colic at any time you can take that so after that the report says gall bladder normal no evidence of calculi also fatty liver liver size normal echo structure normal portal vein normal cbd normal intrahepatic biliary radicals are not dilated so gall bladder calculi is dissolved uh, another uh, follow up reports are there with me so i have not presented here today uh, with 3 uh, months time another two or three reports i have got there was a drastic reduction in the size of the gall bladder calculi after giving these medicines only two medicines i have used in this case like a podium intercurrently i have used cholesterinum 30 so the take away message from today's session we have today uh, we have learnt about sarcodes and indications of the sarcodes where it can be indicated and application of it how can we apply in a clinical practice in a case where there is indication or where there is positivity or where there is no progress in the case after <coughs> prescription of indicated remedy so thank you one and all for the patient listening in the today session thank you one and all if there is any questions any queries i'm free to answer is definitely a very fine session from you doctor 
good evening as i rightly point i as i was telling uh, you really deserve phd because of your work is such a wonderful way because you uh, you really say so from where to begin and how to move on and then how to end up uh, things so this is uh, what uh, hanman has our master has uh, told some 2000 uh, and so 250 years back but unfortunately most people uh, will find it very difficult how to use our tools in uh, those conditions but uh, this is uh, an eye opener for those who want to move in the right direction to win the heart of the patient as so not only the, uh, win the hand heart of the patient but uh, to uh, uh, show the world that homeopathy can do such wonders with our uh, medicines uh, so called as people used to say that this is the pseudo science but this is a, a nonsense but it is the real science uh, that is the beauty that's why doctors are started raising their hands to speak to you because a lot of uh, most of our doctors are of giving a very high regards for your presentation every time uh, everyone is waiting for your sessions and uh, all the sessions you have delivered so far has been excellent and this is ornament the best uh, i would say so let us uh, begin the session uh, uh, discussion from the doctor tasitan ilari uh, so you can begin the session good evening first good evening. thank you first thank you very much for a very nice lecture what i want to learn about uh, the difference in potency selection of sar codes in two cases you selected 30c 30 and in one case diabetes case 1m yes. is there a criteria for selection uh, this potency definitely yes sir if there is a pathological involvement in the case <clears throat> for example as i said in the gb calipli gallbladder calipli it's a pathological case there you can use lower potencies when lower potencies is used we can repeat the dose so pathological cases wants the lower potencies to repeat the case repeat repeat the doses in a case so that we can use lower potencies in those case of diabetes it's a functional disturbance where there is a functional disturbance is seen in the case we can think of higher potencies so repetition can be made lesser when you use 1m for one uh, i give a single dose for a month you can also use insulin 30 there but you have to repeat the dose so no repetition is required when it is used in the higher potency since it's a case of diabetes functional disturbance is involved in the case so i thought of giving insulin 1m that was the criteria. thank you okay yes. thank you thank you thank you very much hello hello good evening gurugran good evening sir <laughs> good <coughs> your explanation <coughs> regarding support <coughs> is very informative doctor i want to know see how is uh, what about the urinary calculi see uh, uh, calcarea about calcarea renalis yes yes uh, how is the result you in your experience? I have, uh, I have used in a very limited uh, form calcarea renalis. I have got the trituration form of calcarea renalis. 6x I have got it. I have used in only few cases. There was a good result in one case, another there was a failure. So I have uh, actually I have not used extensively about calcarea renalis. If there is any uh, inputs from, uh, from your side or from any, any other doctor, any other experts in this group, definitely I will appreciate that. Okay, different okay. crystals, different crystals. We are uh, we, we we will get why we are see uh, for microscopic examination of the urine. We will get different crystals, uric acid crystal, the different type of crystals. Yes. See, if such a patient come to the urinary calculi, and we must assume that this type crystal may have been in the tract or uh, kidney or anything. Suppose. Then we, we will give that 
crystals are good okay. any uh, we will get any result Uh, it's very difficult to know that which type of what type of calculi is there in the urinary tract <clears throat> basically we can get calcium phosphate oxalates majorly we get these kind of uh, crystalline stones in the urinary tract but it's very difficult to know what kind of uh, calculi is present in the urinary tract when once it comes out then we can say what kind of stone it is doctor otherwise uh, it's very difficult doctor see by examining the urine yeah. we will get an idea about it not 100% age, yes 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 we will get an idea yes on the on basis of that yeah on the basis yeah yeah please tell me microscopic yeah. examination we will get a faint idea and eh? not 100% age. yes hello yes, sir. Yes, sir. now it's uh, it's uh, dr javed akhtar from pakistan uh, sir welcome sir Thank, thank you, Jitay. Thank you. Very nice presentation. Uh, I'm appreciating you. Uh, one thank thing you. I'm going to ask here, Dr. Guru, uh, tell me uh, what you call it uh, that uh, especially you mentioned the patient of diabetes patient. Is it is cured or not? First question is there. And second question, if, is it is cured? It's reversed, how, not uh, cured. It, can be called, it the... cannot be called reverse, cured. It can be reversed. Sir, can you able to reverse. listen me? What is the meaning of reverse? Yeah, I don't know. Reverse means that what? Reverse. With the reverse means yes, I'm listening. The patient may get again. The it may uh, blood sugar levels can be raised in the future, on the basis of his lifestyle. So, while modif modifying all those lifestyle problems, what he has mentioned in the case. according along with the homeopathic medicines along with the constitutional medicines the diabetes can be reversed okay after some it days means, after some years the patient cured. may get back because of his worst lifestyle okay. due to his very uh, stress or any other uh, uh, okay. his diet problems and all those things he may get it that cautious we have to be So, so why by that reason we can't cure. say it as cured. You have to, you have to be got to the cure. Hello, sir. Okay, one thing. Why you not going to cure side? Why you are not going to cure side? Why? Yes, yeah, definitely we can, we can do that. Side. We can do that. We can do that by giving the constitutional medicine. I have few cases also. Definitely we can do that. If there is no chance of any lifestyle modification with the with that patient, or if there is no any drastic changes no. in his lifestyle, then definitely it can be cured. Okay, one thing and another. If, uh, however, the currently you are not confirmed about is it is cured or not? Because sir, not able you to hear you, not, sir. Uh, why okay. you go to the uh, sir? I'm not able to hear you. Current test. That is the glucose test. You 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 must take the glucose test. Sir, I'm not able to hear you, sir. One, the voice hello? was breaking. Hello, you are listening, please. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Sir, the voice was breaking. Hello? I'm not able to hear you. Just please, one thing. So you can speak without audio, video, sir. Just so that we, can, we can clearly hear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you can. Ah, yes, now, sir. Hello. Yeah, yes, yeah. Sir. Can you listen to me? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. We can okay. hear, sir. Uh, my question is, okay. My question is, why you go to the routine test, the general test? Why you not go to the HBA one C level? Yes, I have. I have done it actually. I have not shown in this case, but it was actually one case was missing with me. It was starting. It was eight uh, percent. It has came down to six point five actually. After that, the six point five report is not given to me by the patient. So that's the reason why it's not completed. So that's the reason why I have not put. I have shown. Uh, I have not shown the HBA one C report here. However, uh, I am appreciating your specialist uh, uh, constitutional medicine, but however, you can go over there the. Sir, I'm not able after to hear you, sir. Again, after the complete of the case, you have to investigate it. Is it is cure? It is palliative. Sir, I'm not able to hear Hello? you, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, please say loudly, sir. There is some network problem with your. Hello. Hello. Uh, and now we can Hello? hear. Hello. Now we can hear. Are you, are you listening, please? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, tell yes, me, sir. Now. Okay. 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 I'm. I. I have. I have a question. 
you have to be diagnosed it is it is cured or not if you can go a glucose tolerance test yeah. after the yeah. after 2 3 year okay. then it 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 can be diagnosed it is cured or not it is a palliative phase or not it is reversible treatment or not okay you have to go over there okay in future i i am going i'm going to suggest you to, uh, uh, you have to go in future in diabetes case Okay. If, uh, most of the patient can cure. Okay. okay. If you get, if, uh, if you have selected the right similar medicine, so you can glucose tolerance test. Okay. That okay, is a sir. very beautiful test for the diagnosing. It is patient diabetic or non-diabetic. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you for the suggestion, sir. I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you. However, Thank you had a nice presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you, sir. And now it's up to Dr. Veena. Please unmute. Good evening, doctor. Uh, so, as usual, it's a mind blowing session. So, mm -hmm. uh, thank you for that. And, uh, doctor, uh, see, uh, for that question, I, 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 I just have a bit of explanation. I don't know how many will agree. Uh, when we say diabetic cured, it needs some time for us to establish that uh, statement. So, I yes. think as you said, since because the sugar levels are just controlled. We can't claim that as a cure. So that yes. term used as reversed is a better term. Correct. I totally agree with that. And uh, as you told, as you have already given the simulimum, probably it is a cure also. But to claim, I think we need some time because it is not insulin, insulin deficiency which has occurred to the patient. So the pathology is not established. So it's only the insulin resistance or because of the lifestyle or because of the stress you would have got the diabetes. So in that case, when just it got control, we can't claim that as a cure, but it needs, maybe it needs some time to uh, yes. establish that factor. So I totally agree with that statement and I stand by it. Probably after some time, still he is staying uh, non-diabetic and uh, the HbA1c stays uh, normal and the glucose tolerance test is normal for a longer period of time, then we can definitely claim it as a cure. So I totally agree with that, doctor. That approach is also uh, is, uh, uh, well uh, uh, told or well explained, I will say. So yeah. that is the answer for that question what uh, doctor asked. And number two is, uh, doctor, uh, what is your experience with the biochemic? Don't I, have you not use so. I do not use extensively. I do not use regularly, so I don't have about that. Okay. I just wanted to hear that. Thank you, doctor. Fine. Okay. Thank you. I think uh, Dr. Sir wanted to speak some more, something more. Harry uh, and Sir wanted to speak something more. No, more. nothing. Okay. Nothing. I, I know Grigor and well, and he is a good practitioner, no doubt in that. See, uh, we are all in, we, we both are in touch with in certain uh, cases. Doctor, see, one doubt I have. See, I just forgot that <laughs> doubt. It's okay, sir. Message me afterwards. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, I will, uh, I, uh, by telephone, I will ask. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anyway, there's a wonderful discussion also going on because of your presentation and uh, uh, all uh, comments are really uh, and, uh, encouraging. And definitely uh, you can uh, for, come out with some more cases in the future also uh, because uh, these uh, people uh, are really want to know uh, how to use these uh, medicines, uh, particularly the nosors and sarcodes and what are the conditions uh, which are really required these medicines. Uh, yes, actor sir, want this uh, back again. Yes, sir, we can. Thank you, Dr. Guru. Really, I appreciate you and your wonderful presentation. And if, uh, however, but uh, that's simply if you prescribe, if you present a simple one case, and it, it was more detailed, it was uh, for, for good benefit for, uh, for all of us. However, you have presented excellent. I'm uh, really appreciating. You are doing a lot of job and doing doing excellent practice and your presentation is very nice, really. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.
And now there is a question in the chat box uh, about pancreatitis. What is that, sir? Uh, please go through the chat box. There is a question on uh, uh, pancreatitis. Any role of pancreatitis in trituration or potency in diabetes management? Yes, I use in potency form pancreatinum. 201 M potency I use. I, I don't have uh, trituration trituration's in my shelf. So I don't know about that. So I use pancreatinum 201 M in diabetes cases also. Also in pancreatic affections. So, so I think it is that before wind up the session, I think uh, Dr. Adrian sir want to speak. Uh, doctors, see, uh, it is in the and out of the subject. I like to ask one question: Is that what is the success rate of hemiplegia regarding in your experience, doctor? Hemiplegia. Hemiplegia, yes, sir. There is a very good success rate according to the indication of the case, according to that, and age, age factor. If it is in a very good, very engaged and in the middle age group, the result is very good. If it is very aged person having lot of other multiple organ problems, that may differ with the success rate. Doctor, As I see in my practice. See, I have a doubt that while we are taking the case of hemiplegia, uh, see, uh, we will give the, uh, while taking the case, we will uh, ask the, uh, uh, which side, the side is very important. Eh? See, yes. actually the lesion is on right side, the result will be on left side. Yes. Uh, vice versa. So, while we are taking the case, taking the case, yes. uh, which is side, side of the uh, patient, uh, yes. why, which, which side we will take? Definitely. When you go in, go to the repertory, if you type hemiplegia left, hemiplegia, hemiplegia right, the indicated remedy comes <clears throat> there in the repertory. What I have observed is all the left-sided remedies which comes to the hemiplegia left side. All the right-sided remedies which comes hemiplegia right side. What I have seen in the report. Okay, that yeah. Oh, Veena again uh, raised the hand. No, okay. no, no. She, she was just clapping, clapping to the answer, uh, not the, just raising the hand. Now it is the time to wind up the session. I invite uh, Dr. Bob Lee from Malaysia to say a word. Thanks. Yes. Uh, this has been a very interesting uh, session tonight and uh, thank you Dr. Danesh for calling me up even at the last minute because I was rather late into this uh, webinar but I understand that uh, Dr. Guru uh, uh, Dr. Guru Kiran is it he has uh, shared a lot of his experience uh, regarding Sakuts and there are also uh, others who have also used uh, biochemicals, uh, bio, bio, what they call that, uh, tissue remedy, uh, which are equally good results. And uh, usually for this uh, kidney, uh, kidney stones or uh, uh there are many, many remedies. Uh, we have to refer to the uh, fiscal general and a constitutional remedy to have a good result. And uh, it doesn't depend on the support in this case, but for uh, liver, uh, gallbladder stone, I think uh, sarcots can play a very important role in this. Like uh, cholesterol has mentioned by Dr. Kukiran. And, uh, and thank you. Uh, for sharing tonight, uh, on behalf of the IFPH, I would like to say uh, our sincere and grateful thanks to you for sharing your experience in Sakots tonight. Uh, thank you once again, Dr. Gurukiran. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the wonderful words. Uh, tomorrow, we will have a session from Dr. Anuja M. Nelson. She is a professor uh, at... Uh, the Department of, of, of Obstetric and Gynecologist and Sri Venkatesara Homeopathic Medical College Hospital, Chennai. And uh, we, uh, we will have a big session coming uh, day after tomorrow, uh, which is uh, the celebration of 1,200 day. Uh, we please bring all of your friends to our forum 
from eight uh, uh, p.m. onwards. Uh, it will be a 90 minute, 90 minute presentation. We uh, doctors from different parts of the world are joining in the international session. So all of you are requested to participate and, and uh, participate in the celebration. And with that, we come to the end of the day 1,198. And thank you, Dr. Uh, Giran and those who participated in the uh, session. And it is over to Dr. Hibbert to continue the Mariana session now. Thank you. Thank all. you, Dr. Danish.